I'm Jennifer Angel, High Cancer. These are your stars for July. Now, the new moon is in your sign, so it's like your wish period. Of course, anything to do with the moon throughout the month affects you greatly, no matter where it is, because you're ruled by the moon. But this particular month is called your annual new moon. So it's the time where you can sit back and reflect and just redo your goals even though it's not the start of the year or the end of the year when you traditionally do your goals you want to sit back and just look at how far you've come uh, where you are where you want to end up and the journey you want to you know the road you want to take because I mean many roads will lead to your destination but it's the road that you feel more comfortable in taking which is important here okay and put out to the universe it's called like the wish period so and you literally can sit like in prayer or meditation or just silence and just send out to the universe or the God or whoever you speak to or your angels and just send out what it is that you want to attract in your life okay so that's your exercise for this month now your career and money now Uranus sits in your solar 10th house of career and business and it goes retrograde on the 13th so you can expect something to happen or shift on a career level this month okay so particularly towards the second half of the month now news could come through as well however with mercury being retrograde from the 15th then there could be a delay okay it doesn't mean to say it's going to go away but you may hear some news that you've been waiting on but the actual outcome may not go into place until be initiated until next month okay so just keep that in mind now there is a series of squares as well happening at the moment. It started last month. There's seven in total right after 2014 between Uranus and Pluto. And it's sort of a, a, a big deal because it can change things on a, on a world um, basis. I mean, for instance, last time these squares happened at the exact time of this and it, it affects you greatly because it's in your um, 10th house and your 7th house which are very significant placements for any star sign. And last time it happened exactly like this was right back 1933 and 1934 when the Great Depression started and Hitler got his, um, started to take his power. So that's like the Pluto energy in its most ruthless, okay? So for you, what you need to do, Cancer, is just make sure that any dealings that you have on a career, monetary, and with people, with relationships, as a whole that it comes from a place of the highest level of integrity okay so you want to make sure that your intent is always of of the highest heart level and if you do that then you'll sail through these squares without any problems but it, it is destined let's say for changes to happen in your life and that's a good thing because changes will just make you grow and send you on to your next phase in life so it's an exciting time on that level now love and romance a full moon is in your seventh house of love and partnerships this month so um, that can give things a shake around and just you know make some changes happen too so if there's things that you feel that you want to um, alter then this is a good month to do that okay you can just reevaluate your personal life so it's it's a time where you start your whole new next 12 month phase so it's an exciting time for cancer now your lucky numbers for the month are 3 18 19 and 23 and I've put down your dynamic day as July the 19th and this is the day of your new moon of course and that's the day where you can be inspired to make changes okay have a great month, Cancer. I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching.